Hello and welcome back to Drone Fu, or uh, if you haven't uh, been here before, welcome. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the uh, Yashin E52 and do a very uh, quick and cursory review of it and then talk about how uh, you can modify it so you can use non-proprietary batteries. So the Yashin E52 is a folding drone. Kind of, uh, there was another one, the E50, that came before that uh, I bought when it came out and then sold because just using a phone is uh, something I can't really deal with in flying a drone. This one has uh, comes with a normal uh, kind of uh, toy controller, toy grade controller, with a uh, chip clip style phone holder that lets you see out of the drone's. Uh, 0.3 megapixel camera when you're flying it, but the uh, latency on it is not so great, so don't expect to be able to fly normal FPV with it easily. So the battery that comes with it is uh, proprietary, but uh, it's kind of a proprietary battery similar to the uh, MJX Bug series in that it's a non-proprietary battery that's kind of stuck in a plastic housing with uh, a standard kind of connector. So that makes this uh, easy to uh, mod to use non-proprietary batteries. So a quick way to do that is uh, basically you locate the pins that the proprietary battery plugs into and take note of the, the positive and negative connectors and basically uh, you can uh, connect a, a standard Molex connector in there, which is not, not totally legit in that the pin distance is a bit different, but you can kind of wedge it in there and it works. So I've got it uh, wedged in there and it sticks. So now uh, the little JST connector so we can connect standard uh, on proprietary JST batteries. So here's an example of a non-proprietary battery with a JST connector. So all we do, once we've stuck this little uh, Molex extender on here, or better yet if you've got a JST extender, JST to JST, that'd be great, but this works in a pinch. Let's plug it in there. Boom, it works. This thing, uh, this battery happens to fit in perfectly. And in order to hold it in there, a uh, standard uh, battery holder Velcro clip works that uh, you'd normally use for a larger drone. Just basically wrap it around. And that's basically all there is to it. Very quick and easy. Turn this on, so we have power. So boom, very good. You could uh, plug your battery directly onto those pins, but the risk of that, rather than using some sort of extender, is that you might accidentally plug it in with the wrong polarity and possibly fry something on the drone. So that's something that I would personally avoid doing. So, uh, I'll have links in the description of this video to the uh, where you can get one of these little Molex extenders and also battery straps. So yeah, if you can pick one of these up on sale, they're uh, a decent deal. They were on sale recently for, I believe, $19 a US. So that uh, kind of makes them an almost uh, disposably priced drone. So a great thing to just kind of throw in your backpack with the uh, controller and be able to kind of fly around with a wind. And as far as the quality of this drone, uh, it's not too bad. It's uh, not not super powerful, like a little bit underpowered, but uh, enough to kind of cruise around with. And uh, without uh, connecting a phone, you can still uh, fly it with the controller, because uh, I find connecting the phone can be kind of a little bit, little bit annoying. Sometimes I just like to fly with the controller and uh, 
can see I've got everything labeled on here. Basically, this uh, controls your rates, and this uh, flip button, standard kind of e-machine configuration. And there's a button for your video, one above is for a photo. I tend to just use the video. And when you turn it on to uh, get the drone to take off, you just click this uh, button here, kind of uh, to the lower left. And to get it to land, you can click this thing, or you can just uh, basically kind of uh, descend it to the ground. And uh, oh yeah, one more thing, the, the rate button also doubles as an emergency stop. So just hold it off and it stops the motor. So if you uh, find that it's you're kind of headed to some disastrous situation, you can just boosh, make it fall out of the sky. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Click uh, like uh, and subscribe if you uh, like this channel. Cheers.